Hi, I'm Bhairav and for this season of Art Sparks, I was asked to choose eight uh, art pieces from the map collection that I was really curious about or had many, many questions about. And with me here is Shubhashri. And together, we're looking at this amazing artwork from the museum's collection and try and answer all the questions that Bhairav has. When I was choosing, this one really stuck out more because I've never seen anything like this actually made with a pen. Uh, and is there anything else about the work that you find uh, very unique? The bird, I guess. Uh, why is that? What about the bird? Well, I think the bird looks kind of surreal, otherworldly. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks like a mythological creature because, uh, because of how these look like clouds right. and there's kind of like an aura around the bird that oh. you can see. So I'm a follower of many mythologies from around the world, so this also st sticks out as kind of a unique mythology. So you said you've read a lot of mythological stories. Uh, does this particular bird remind you of any characters that you may have come across? No, as many mythologies as I've read about, this doesn't really remind me of any of mm -hmm. them, which either means I know too less or this is from a very unique culture. Yeah, um, you're actually right about this being part of a mythological story. It's a character from the origin story of the Gon Pardhan community. Okay. Who are basically this indigenous group. They live in a village called Patangar in Madhya Pradesh. And it's a very like elaborate, long story about the origin of the universe. Do you want to know the story first or do you want me to tell you a little bit about who made this work? Story. Okay, great. So the story begins with this character called Bada Dev, which is like the, literally the great or big god, right? Um, and he has decided now to create the universe. So what he does is he takes all the dirt from his own body and kind of fashions a crow. This, okay. by the way, is a crow, the magical a, crow. A crow? Yeah. I thought it was more like a somewhere between an eagle or a peacock. Hmm. Um, I see why peacock, I guess, because the legs, um, anything else that looks very peacock-like. Well, peacocks, you know, like when they stand, they have their chest, like yeah, the middle portion true. outstretched. Yeah. Like a proud kind of a stance. Mm -hmm. Also looks like a pigeon to me. Sometimes pigeons also like, they have that body shape, you know, mm. yeah. this curve. True. Uh, but as for the story goes, it, it's actually a crow. This crow is kind of now given the task of collecting all the clay that he can find and use it to kind of give it to then Baradev and create the universe. Now this crow flies around all over looking for clay, is not able to find clay and gets very tired and sits on a rock. But this rock is actually not a crock, it's actually a crab. The crab's name is Kekra Mal, um, which Kekra in Hindi is literally crab. So hmm. crab, Mr. Crab, something oh. like that, right? This crab is then very upset. Why are you sitting on my claw? Why are you here to bother me? I was just having a chill time by myself. Mm -hmm. The crow says, I, am, I have this amazing task. I am given the task to kind of collect clay. Kekra Mal says, actually, all the clay is gone. Why? Because the earthworm, whose name is Mr. Earthworm, Kechwa Mal, uh, <laughs> uh, is kind of eating all the clay in and there's nothing left. So all the clay is, he's, he's just eating all of it, okay. right? So the crow and the crab, they team up. They go down into the underworld, catch the earthworm, Ketramal, and squeeze his throat very hard. You know, because he's doing that, obviously all the clay kind of is spitted out. All of that is collected, then the crow takes it back to Baradev who uses this clay to fashion animals, birds, humans, the entire universe. Okay. That's kind of the story. There's also a last character who is called Makramal, who's Makra, you know? Spider. Spider. So his name is Mr. Spider. Uh, Mr. Spider makes like a web. On this web is the surface where you put the clay and you put all these figures and you have the earth. Okay. That's the story. That's the origin story of the community. So this is the story they believe in, right? Uh, this is how the world came in, this is how we began, and this is how our community is kind of just started from there. So like you said about the, the, the fact that it looks very surreal and this aura-like thing, uh, it kind of now connects, right? Because this is not just any random crow, yeah. it's Mr. Crow. Another thing I like a lot about this is, apart from this person, hmm. um, you can see like here and I think even a bit over here and in the aura, yeah. they use lines going like this mm -hmm. all through, which is, it's, it's quite cool. But look closely, do you actually think the lines are actually going like that? Oh no, there's, they're like blo broken into like dots and dashes. Yeah, that's right. 
uh, when you see closely, you can see, you know, the illusion is that it's one quick line yeah. and the kind of the tone differs from dark to light. But when you look closely, you see that it's actually a lot of tiny lines mm. all together, kind of giving you the impression that it's one quick stroke, but it's actually not. So this idea of doing small lines or dashes is actually a signature style of the artist who made this work. Okay. Um, he's also signed it. Do you want to try and guess what the name is? It's here and there's also a date. I can make out the date that's 1997. That's right. Uh, as for the name, it's, um, it's a very nice handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very clean. You're right. I'm not sure. Nothing at all? No. Uh, so the name here, it's in Hindi. Okay. Uh, and it's Jangar Singh Shyam. Right? So you can make out the Shyam a little bit. The yeah. Jangar Singh is a little bit difficult to do that. So the name of the artist is Jangar Singh Shyam. Um, he is a pioneer from his community, which is the Goan Pardhans. He's from the community and what's special about his style is that he developed this way of doing small dots and dashes to kind of create all different forms. That became his signature, right? Um, so you will never see like one continuous line, rather very small dots and dashes making one line, right? right. Um, that was his thing. Another very cool thing about Jangar is that he was the first one to, you know, kind of visualize these stories and forms so obviously the community has many stories like the one that i told you now they have many other stories they have all different kinds of gods and goddesses but nobody actually ever visualized them in painted form and Janga was the first one to do that and while he did that he also kind of added his own styles and unrealistic like magical elements into mm. them for example if you notice the bird there is there something that looks very like not very real about it well uh the main thing i can notice is that the wings they look like a lot of leaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. The wings actually look like leaves. Uh, if you notice the face also, you see how they've done like a leafy pattern on it. Yeah. These are things that were very unique to Jangar. He would maybe draw from everyday life and everyday scenes, but add his own unique magical elements to them. Mm. Wow, it must be so difficult to make such lines and all these details and just such a small artwork. Mm -hmm. I wonder how long it took Jangar to make it this art for me, at least. Jangar was known to work very quickly. Uh, if you read up about him later, you will see that he has also made these huge wall paintings like murals. Oh. Um, they are like he's known for making big pieces, but in a relatively lesser time. Okay. Yeah. Pen and ink was obviously not the only medium that Jangar worked in. He worked a lot with color, and a lot of these colored works are also in the museum. Hmm. One of those you can see behind you, right there. Oh. And if you look closely, you will be able to see the small dots and dashes that it is made up of, right? Hmm. Right. Jangar, unfortunately, is no more with us. Um, but his family and the community of the Goan Pardhans from that village in Patangar continue to make art like this, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, like his uh, sons and daughters, his wife, okay. nephews, nieces, everybody. It's like this big family tradition now. And everyone is like an artist of the Goan Pardhan style. But because Jangar started it, right? Uh, no one before him did it. They now have named it the Jangar Kalam, okay. which literally means the pen of Jangar or the style of Jangar, right? Mm. Because he was the one who pioneered. That's very cool. I guess I'll keep my eye out for more of the Jangar style in yeah. other artworks, I guess. Uh, because if it's such a new artwork, it must have uh, been like an influence maybe on other artworks too. The map collection is so big and it was very hard to choose just eight artworks from the whole collection. You should check out the site too to see more. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more Artsparks episodes with Bhairav and follow us on our social media for other fun updates. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.